Hello everyone. So I just wanted to show something that I've been playing about with recently. So I have a solar system all set up um, that's outside on the wall of the shed and that's charging all the time, obviously when there's sunlight. And then it's charging this little seven amp hour battery here. And what I've done is I've set up a little 4G modem. So this is the same modem that I use for sort of doing all the telecommunications equipment below ground in the bunker. Um, so I'm using that above ground and what I'm doing is I've got my GMC 500 plus and I have that connected 24 hours a day to the Wi-Fi and that's uh, that's uploading uh, all of the background radiation levels directly to the GMC map uh, and that's doing that 24 hours a day. So 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year that is uploading to the GMC uh, website to their servers and it's all being controlled via solar so that doesn't really take that much charge I think this is only about this runs like four watts or something it's it's very very small voltage it takes uh, well you can run that off nine volt if you want to go right down to nine volts so the wattage is very low um, once that's fully charged it's uh, sort of just sits there and trickles trickle charges away and then I have this 50 watt solar panel that's out on the fence, or sorry, on the side of the shed. And uh, that is controlling all of that. So I have uh, sort of a full <laughs> radiation monitoring system here at the post doing what the post uh, would have done originally. So I'm here to cut the grass um, as always. So the cattle have been moved into the other field. You can see they've been, uh, they've been cutting the grass here recently. So yeah, I've got to cut this and um, I just want to test a couple of things. I need to test this, this connection here just to make sure it's still okay. But yeah, grass cutting and uh, just going to be sitting here and just making sure this is sending data okay. So it has been for a week. I've been testing it for a week and it seems to have been working fine. Uh, but I just want to log into the modem and uh, just see sort of the data usage and things like that there. Uh, I know that the modem is working. I've been able to sort of get into that obviously and, and you know, it's uploading data. Just want to check the router just to make sure, just to see what data it's been using and sort of the on and off time. So what I have it doing is, uh, this is set to upload once an hour. So this unit uh, basically powers itself on and off as and when uh, this is required to upload. So I sort of have it off, on, off, on. It's quite good. It's, it's, a, it's a nice little system that you can sort of set up times where you want the unit to be idle, not doing anything, and then it'll switch itself on, turn on the connection, allow this to upload. It then turns itself back off again and uh, just waits another, you know, 55 minutes and then it turns itself back on and uh, re-establishes the 4G connection. So that seems to have been working perfectly. Um, I didn't know if it would work or not, but it has been working absolutely perfectly. And uh, you know the the battery and the solar have been have been working great, and uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut the grass and then I'm gonna log into the modem, just check a couple of stats. So yeah, be back soon. Okay, so the grass is cut. Not too bad. I left it for three weeks this time. We had a bit of a drought here, but in the last few days we've a we've had a good bit of deluge of rain, so it definitely is doing. If it popped up a little bit, but I have had this running now for about 45 minutes, uh, just in test mode. Um, this has been working fine. It's been uploading data. <laughs> Big bug on me there. Uh, this is using just kilobytes. It's very, very small. Uh, I think in the entire week, it's only used about uh, two megabytes. Uh, very, very small amounts of data. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's just, uh, sort of an Excel file it uploads to the server so it's very very small amounts of data uh, so very very lucky and yeah this, that hasn't even budged so the solar is still working perfectly be interesting to see how it works over the winter um, but um, I'm sure I can play with it instead of uploading once an hour I can maybe have it uploading you know once every two hours something out there just to bring the power consumption down but this is using so little power I think it was two watts this was using which is just absolutely fantastic uh, but I'm definitely definitely going to be uh, using this 
uh, for the foreseeable future. Just to show you how this is powered. Uh, there's the input for the solar. Uh, and that runs all the way around and outside. And then we have the battery connection. So that runs and then clips onto the battery. Then we have the output. So we have two outputs. We have the output that runs then to power this through the cigarette lighter. And then we have a USB connection and that's powering this. So yeah, really happy with this. Um, the GMC 500 plus, uh, you know, I've had this since just before the start of COVID and uh, this is one of my most reliable meters. Uh, I changed the tube. If you've ever watched my video way, way back, one of my first videos, in fact, uh, had a faulty tube. Um, they, they sent me a new one. I replaced that. It's working great. Uh, and the unit just has worked. This has been on at my house for, you know, ever since I bought it. It's been on 24 hours a day. And I just thought, let's bring it out to the bunker and actually, you know, run it from out here. So. It's all working perfectly. A really, really good meter. I'm not sure if you can sell that on Amazon, but that is well worth the money for doing this kind of thing. Uh, if you want to do radiation monitoring, that is a really, especially remote radiation monitoring, this is a really, really great little bit of kit. And then the uh, Teltonica router, RU2240. You'll pick one of these up for about 80 quid. Sometimes you'll even pick them up for about 50 quid on eBay. A uh, little 4G router, just stick a little SIM card in it. Um, very, very small data allowance, and you're laughing. There's your, your full sort of radiation monitoring setup done. Uh, and then it means that this post is now sort of doing what it, you know, what it did back in the sort of 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. Uh, but yeah, there's another very, very short video for you folks just to uh, just to keep you up to date with what's going on. Um, no open days as of yet. I've been so busy. I have not been able to have any open days, um, but I'm hoping to have one in the next couple of weeks. Before I go on holiday, there's guard dog. Before I go on holiday, I'm going away on holiday to Poland. So before I go away, hopefully I'll get one open day. But listen, folks, as always, thank you very, very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you all again next time. Bye bye.